quick video i wanted to share with you a little sort of workflow tip that will be super helpful if you're using fusion to create stuff that need to come out the same way that they came into the scene so basically like a title for example what usually i would do is i will go here and let me just show you this one is one of the titles uh, i'm just gonna plug that in real quick of the mb titles pack so if you want to check that out you can check out the website but yeah i was working on this one and i was trying to get the outro animation for these and for some reason when animating these lines right here usually what i would do is i would go to the spline here and i will go and open these and then have to select both and let me click these right here and if I go here into this merchant, I'll press two, so I only see that. You'll see the intro of them is coming in like that. Ideally, what I wanted to happen is for the outro to start from the other side and do these. Now, what happens is that when I try to go and use the method that I usually use, which is I will select all of these and holding control, I will just drag these and make a copy. And then we can hold shift to move these a little bit more to the side and then I will click reverse. Now the issue in this case specifically it's with polygons, it's not so much with the transform node or text node, but you'll see it doesn't exactly look the same because of the way the polygons work with the position and the linked uh, values right here. If you look at these, you'll see what happens. But if we go here, you will see that both of them start moving at the same time. So it requires a lot more of like tweaking and I have to go back and like spend so much time. So then I thought, well, there must be a way to do this in a simpler way. So the thing that we use here is the time stretcher. What this does is basically whatever the source time is here is what's going to be showing at that certain point in time. So basically here the source time is zero and as it goes, it would be one two, three, four, basically each keyframe is revealed, right? So what I did in this case is I bring these to be normal. So like it follows the same process. You So it all gets to 54 at 54, but then here it starts to change a little bit because here's when I want the animation to go backwards. So basically we're using this time stretcher to grab this section and reverse that. So if we check this out, you'll see that the last key from here is at 28. So that's why I brought these all the way here and at 24 or 64, which is what I did 95 minus 28, 67. So a little bit before that, I actually grabbed the time stretcher and I set the keyframe here to be at 28. So it will basically do these and move backwards, but here. So if you check the source time, as we continue to going up, you will see that it's basically going down all the way back to zero. So yeah, that is it. So if you have things where you don't want to have to create the whole outro animation using keyframes again, because it's basically the same, but you just wanted to go back to where it came from, then you can use this time stretcher node, which is going to make your job a lot more easier and it will save you a lot of time and headaches like in the case of these polygons so yeah i hope this video is helpful and that this tip helps you out when working with stuff in fusion and that you can save a lot of time with these this is it for this video i'll see you in the next one here in swati bye